Hey, what's going on? Oh, not much. So my Ruger holds 10 rounds. It's so cool. It shoots like every kind of ammo there is. It's 22 and it's like the best. Huh, 10 rounds? Mine holds 16. Plus it's got a great trigger on it. It's a little bit longer slide, better grip. And honestly, I think it looks cooler than yours. Yours holds 16 rounds? Miley holds 10. What a piece of junk. Welcome back to 9 Mill Ridge. I got a couple semi-auto 22s here today. Two of my favorite, the Taurus TX-22 and the Ruger SR-22, both exceptional uh, semi-automatic handguns. Very, very good plinkers. And I uh, just want to give you guys a quick review on it. Got adjustable sights on both of them. Elevation and windage on both of those there. Um, you got ambidextrous uh, safeties on both of them there. This is a hammer fired. This is a striker fire. Both are very good. I've had little to nothing for issues on this one. Uh, this one I've had same thing, little to nothing for issues. I've fired all sorts of different kinds of ammo in both of them, and they both are very, very good handguns. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little review on them today. This thing has probably has, eh, I don't know, about 10,000 rounds. This one probably is pushing six or seven now. And uh, yeah, little to no uh, failure at all. Mainly just a bad 22 round, which is very common in 22 handguns. So if you guys are in the market for a nice little semi-automatic, uh, the Ruger is gonna run you about uh, 280, 300 to 400, just depending on where you're at. It's a 10 plus one round uh, handgun. This one is, the Taurus is a 16 plus one depending on your state. Uh, this one will run you about anywhere from 250 to 400. Just a bit, like I said, just depends on where you're located in the United States. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little review, do a, a few shots here for you, just so you guys can get an idea of which one you prefer, Ruger or the Taurus. Uh, one thing I don't like, if you release the mag on this, you can't fire it, it's a dead trigger. Uh, not a huge deal for a 22, but uh, uh, I just don't prefer it. All right, first off, I got the Ruger SR-22. Let's do a few shots on that steel. Let's shoot those water bottles here. All right, go for the top grade one there. Yeah, Ruger SR-22, stainless steel barrel, smaller grip, you can change this grip on it, pop it off, this is the largest one it comes with. I don't shoot as good as the Taurus, but it's still a fun little gun if I shot it uh, probably more often, because lately I've been shooting the Taurus so much, I'd probably be able to hit a little bit better with it. But yeah, not bad for a little nice 22 that's gonna be reliable and uh, serve you for a, quite a long time. All right, got the Taurus TX-22. You've seen this in a couple of my videos. It's because it's my favorite. It's my favorite little gun. It's just so much fun to shoot. It feels like a nine millimeter, but shoots like a 22, which is kind of kind of a weird feeling, but it shoots really, really good. So let's give this one a couple tries here. Let's shoot that steel target a couple times and those water bottles there. And that's the Taurus TX-22. These are very, very fun little plinkers to shoot. And being the cost of ammo has been going up for a couple, several months now, it's, it's nice just to have a 22 so you can practice and, 
and you know have a little fun with them because they're they're fairly inexpensive to shoot even when 22 ammo does go up in price it's still not bad comparably to you know a nine millimeter or 45 or 40 or 10 mil um they're just a lot of fun and and everyone should own a 22 they're just uh a fun little practice gun that you can get comfortable with uh you know maybe you don't have a a, a nine millimeter and you're you're in the market for a new gun and you're like well I don't really know what to start with. Well, 22 is always a good choice because it's low recoil. Um, they are guns, they are very dangerous, but they're a lot of fun and they're a good starting point if you've never owned a handgun before. Of course, you should always practice you know, good safety and um, if you have never owned one, maybe take a course and, and learn all your safety procedures and, and how to handle it. But yeah, or if, you, or if you do own guns and you've never owned a full size, uh, 22 handgun like the Taurus or or a nice little semi-auto like the like the Ruger those are great little starting points for for any age uh, any skill level they're both excellent uh, just to plank around with and have a lot of fun Okay, so that's the Ruger SR-22 there, and the Taurus TX-22. These are both exceptional little shooters. They're both very reliable. They eat almost anything you throw into it, uh, which is nice, uh, pretty much any manufacturer. Uh, there's a few. There, I think I've had some of the Winchester fail on the Taurus. Uh, same with the Ruger. I'm not a huge fan of the most of the Winchester brand, except for in single shot 22s, but you know, it's not bad overall. Some people might really love it, but me personally, I don't really like it. That's just my opinion. And, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys two reliable shooters. If you're in the market for a nice little 22, um, and especially since nine millimeter and 40 and 10 and 45 and all those other uh, calibers out there are getting very costly and very hard to find. And 22, fortunately, is still available in most stores. So. You know, if you're in the market, you want to practice a little bit, or if you're new to shooting, these are a great option to start just because of the low recoil and uh, ease of use. Very easy uh, slides to, to um, you know, pull back. So uh, these are two good options. If you're new to the gun market or just want a good, reliable little plinker, both of these I would recommend all day long. Um, you know, after shooting these for quite some time, thousands of rounds through each, I really love this Taurus TX-22. It's been so reliable and such a good, such a good little handgun. I just love that trigger on it as well. I can hit really well with it. And the Ruger has been excellent as well. I would never get rid of either of these just because they're, they're such a good quality and very reliable. But I just wanted to give you guys a nice little demonstration today on both of these. Maybe if you're in the market for a new one, it'll help you uh, decide. And uh, if you're new to 9 Mill Ridge, hope you like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Um, come back uh, again for another video. And I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.